Hello buddy, Sanyar, engineer, MBA and investor. And in today's video, I want to talk about the follow up from yesterday's breaking news. Of course, Verve 101 being put on hold by the FDA. So the CEO of Verve published a couple of updates here. And actually to his defense, he actually published those updates uh, in the same day as uh, the event broke out and basically four hours later, uh, but I didn't cover. So I thought maybe it's worth covering what, you know, the leadership of the company is talking about, right? So two updates from Verve. After initial 30 days of review, US FDA has put place a hold on the IND application to start clinical trial in Verve 101 in the US. So a couple, couple of keywords there. I want to point this out right now because I think I'm going to circle back and it's really what this video is all about in, um, for today. Is notice he said US FDA. We know the FDA is in the US, but notice he said US FDA. And then he said clinical trial were one in the US. Just keep that in mind, right? As we go through this video. Within the next 30 days, expect to receive a formal letter from the FDA with specific outstanding items. So nothing new. He is linking to the press release, which we covered in yesterday's video. And then uh, the CEO goes on to say, uh, we've prepared a comprehensive regulatory package and are committed to work closely with the FDA to resolve any questions so that we may open enrollment in Heart one trial in the U.S. Again, it's, keep mentioning U.S. In. Data from ongoing study Verve 101 in New, New Zealand and UK were not included in our IND package. After regulatory clearance in New Zealand and UK, Heart One trial has those Verve 101 in three patients. And um, the independent board there reviewed data and recommended dose escalation to the next level, which again we covered in yesterday's video. Expect to report initial clinical data from up to four doses cohorts in second half of 2023. We founded Verve Therapeutics to develop a potential new first-in-class treatment to transform uh, the care of uh, cardiovascular diseases. Our team is steadily, fastly committed to this mission. So what I wanted to cover in today's video is the fact that this is just in the US, right? So people have to remember the FDA does not speak for the whole world. It does not speak for Europe. It does not speak for New Zealand, for UK. For South America, it really just talks, and even Canada, it only really addresses US. And I don't think I made it clear in yesterday's video, so that's exactly why I want to make a follow-up video in today's video, is that that FDA hold is obviously for clinical trial regarding Verve 101 in the US. It's still bad, don't get me wrong. I mean, uh, the US is the largest market. I mean, this company is based in the US. Uh, you would think the home country would allow this clinical trial to go forward, con considering it has been going forward in New Zealand and UK, just like we mentioned here. But it has not. The FDA has put it on hold. And again, I went over the details in yesterday's video. But I do want to remind viewers two things. First of all, this is in the US. Of course, uh, like I mentioned over the weekend, the FDA does have a enormous influence around the world. It does not speak for Europe. It does not speak for those regions, but it definitely have an influence. Uh, something similar to the US Federal Reserve in the economy side of things, right? Whatever the US Federal Reserve ends up doing, other countries follow because the US is the largest market and it's the largest my market by miles and everybody knows that. Oh, and of course, there's a lot of business in this uh, in the US country, in the America, right? Um, but ultimately, every country has its own regulatory bodies like Health Canada in Canada or EMA in Europe or in UK or in New Zealand, you have the respective bodies of regulatory bodies, right? So that's the first point. The second point I want to mention is in the IND submission that got denied by the FDA, by the US FDA, I should rather uh, clarify, uh, it did not include New Zealand or UK data. And that's completely fine. Again, each region operates its own way. If it wants to permit a private company or a public company in this case to conduct a clinical trial, assuming it has submitted the documents and gone through all the bureaucracy there, they're free to go through their hard one trial in the UK and in New Zealand in this case. But in the US, they obviously got denied. And again, this IND submission 
from VRV to the FDA did not include New Zealand and UK data. And that makes complete sense. They dosed their first patient over the summer. There's no way that we're going to have data by then. Uh, and it looks like they made a decision not to include it. Um, now, what I'm interested in is in those 30 days, what will the FDA report? And a lot of speculation is the elevated levels uh, that we reported last week when we had doubts going, the elevated levels may be related, may be indeed related. Uh, if that's the case, we're going to get a lot, a lot of drama. If that's not the case, I think Verve could get a really green light here. Uh, I think their best case scenario is for the FDA not to address the, the whatever I was mentioning in last week's video about how they were potentially hiding something. If they don't bring it up, if it's not included in their response, then you can assure that Verve will be no longer sweating uh, because I am telling you right now, they are sweating really hard right now because if this is brought up, they have to disclose that information and it will be leaked to the public somehow. And that's when I think Verve will be at hit so hard. I wouldn't be surprised if this company's stock get ha cut in half if that's the case. If that's not the case, then obviously they get the green light to go forward. And actually, I, I think the biggest loser or winner in all this is Beam Therapeutics, right? Uh, and if you know exactly what I'm talking about, leave me in the comments below. Let me know why you think I saying, I'm saying that Beam Therapeutics is the biggest winner or loser in whatever ends up happening in the Verve therapeutics drama that we see going on. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Like this video if you found value. Subscribe if you're not. And I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully without some drama. Thank you.